Hey everyone, here at AI Motion Studio, today I'm going to show you an app that will allow you to train Flux LoRa's with ease and simplicity. It's called Flux Gym. I tested it with a RTX 3060 with 12 gigabytes of VRAM, and while it seemed to be working, it was very slow. It took over 10 hours to train about 46 images. So if you have 8 gigabytes of VRAM, it might be possible from my understanding, but do expect it to take some time. I'm going to be doing the one-click install. I think that's what most people will be doing. But if you don't have Pinocchio installed, all you need to do is go over to Pinocchio.io to install it. So here is how to install Flux Gym. First, you want to go to the Pinocchio app home, then click on Discovery and click Flux Gym. Now click the Download button. Save as default, click Download again. Now wait a few seconds and click Install. Now this is probably going to take a while, depending on your network connection speed. Because it downloads all the models separately, the way it works is it's going to download everything automatically into the Flux Gym folder. So you shouldn't have to download anything once it's done. This can definitely take a while. It took around 20 minutes for the whole installation. Now we're all set. Everything is good to go. Now that everything's set up, this is the screen you're going to have. This is your Flux Gym UI. Now I want to give you a quick rundown. We're going to do a LoRa training here. We're going to be training this 46 real images of a female model. So we are going to upload all the images. Then now we are going to name our model. I will use Alexa Grace as the name of the model. Now we choose a trigger word. I will use AG2655 as the trigger word. I will set VRAM to 12 gigabytes. Now, since we don't want this to take forever, we can reduce the number of training per each images. I will set this to half, which is five. So we leave all the other settings as default. We scroll down and add caption to our images by clicking the Add AI Captions with Florence 2. Now we wait for Florence to download the caption model and automatically add captions to our images. Captions is now done. As you can see, all our images now has captions. Now we go to step three and click start training. You can monitor your GPU performance to verify that the training has started. Training can take several hours to complete. Okay, now after about 10 hours, the training is completed. Now go to the output folder to find the newly trained LoRa models. Here you can see our four newly trained LoRa models. Now we can close the Flux Gym and go to the Comfy UI to test the trained LoRa models. Now using the Flux One dev base model, we will be using our newly trained LoRa models. Also, don't forget to include the trigger word in the prompt. As you can see, the image generated is almost 100% accurate with the trained images. Let's take a closer look.
Here are more generated results. If you want the Alexa Grace model we trained in this video, go to civitai.com, links in the description below. You can download it and use it to generate more images. So that's pretty much how that works. I do hope you found the video helpful, and if you did, please consider hitting the subscribe and like button, because it does really make a difference on our channel. Thanks for watching and have fun creating.